Hi guys. It has been months since I filmed a sit down video for you. Um, and even though I've just come in from work and my makeup's all rubbed off and I do not look my best, I couldn't wait to sit and film this for you. Um, you'll be able to see from the title that this is my little chatty roundup and haul from Manchester Planaby, which I um, attended this past weekend in Manchester, of course. Um, and yeah, I couldn't wait to film my little roundup video for you. I always like to do one of these after an event and this one is no different. So I thought I would film this part of the video quickly just on camera like I normally do and then I will swap to my top down view to show you everything I bought and everything that was in the goodie bag. Um, so yes. So I travelled up north on the Friday night to stay with a friend and it was a nightmare journey. I'm not going to dwell on it because that's not what this video is about but... <laughs> It was the worst drive I've ever had. Um, but I arrived safely at um, my lovely friend Daisy's house. Um, you guys will know her, she's Daisy behind My Green Cow and she's probably my best friend in the whole world. Um, I love her very much and I stayed at her house for the weekend um, and bright and early on the Saturday morning we travelled into Manchester by train to attend the event. The room for the event, the actual venue itself, was kind of perfect. It was a great size for the amount of people um, who were attending. There was a nice space between the tables. There was a lot of space in front of the stalls to mingle and to have a little bit more space when shopping because um, a lot of events are quite cramped because they invite lots of people and then can't really fit the people comfortably in the room. Um, but this one, there was lots of space to um, chill and also something that was different about this event was that there was lots of time just to yourself but I will get into that in a minute. So Manchester Planner B was organised by a group of ladies who actually met for the first time at the UK Planner Addicts Big Meet. So you might remember that I went to the Big Meet last year, it was in October last year, almost exactly a year ago and um, they were placed on the same table together they were all sat on the same table and they became the best of friends and they decided to put on their own event, um, which they did, and the Manchester Planner Bee was born. So they opened the event, of course, and had a little introduction. Um, there was an icebreaker game, which was quite funny. It was like a little pass the parcel type game. Um, we all had gifts waiting there for us on the tables, which I will show you. Um, properly in a minute but you should be seeing cutaways of all of these things now um, and we had a little workshop I'm trying to keep this quite brief in case you haven't noticed because um, I've got lots of things to show you but we had a little workshop from a lady called Karen um, all about how to prioritize things and how to um, try not to worry about things that you can't control but <laughs> we all know that's easier said than done but it was an interesting workshop nonetheless. At 12 o'clock, the event started at 11, at 12 o'clock the shops opened and basically they didn't really close um, for the rest of the event. It was supposed to be 12 till 2.45 the shops were open but pretty much the majority of them just stayed open so you could just shop at your leisure which I definitely did but I'm proud to say that I stuck to my budget for the most part. I only went over by £14 but that was only because Daisy and I ordered Domino's <laughs> when we got home so some of that money ended up going on Domino's. Um, so if I hadn't spent that I would have stuck to my budget for the whole weekend which is great. Um, there was so much to choose from. There were so many things I wanted to buy but I'm trying to be good because I'm going to Planacon Europe at the end of this month and the weekend before that I'm going to Discover Dogs which is basically another one of these huge events but it is dog related of course. So I was trying to be good. I'm very pleased I stuck to my budget for the most part. Um, but yeah, I have lots to show you. All in all, it was a lovely event. I'm very glad I got to go and meet up with all of my lovely planner friends and meet new people. Everyone is always so nice and so friendly, which I very much appreciate because I get very, very anxious before I go to these events. Um, I've mentioned it to a couple of people in person, but it's always funny when you make YouTube videos 
and then you go and meet people in person who watch your videos because they know so much about you and you know nothing about them and um, it can be quite odd to meet people who already feel like they know you um, so I always get very anxious about that before I go to an event but it's always fine when I'm there. There was also a photo booth at the event which was great um, it was self catering so there was a bar um, where you could get drinks and things but you could take yourself off out for lunch or you could bring a packed lunch that worked perfectly fine for me, I'm a very fussy eater so Daisy and I just went off down to Subway and got ourselves a Subway for lunch and it was good because it meant we could sit out for half an hour, take a breather and then go back. Um, so yeah, it was great. I'm sure you mainly just want to see everything that I bought so I will get on with that part of the video now. Um, but it was, it's been lovely to sit down and chat to you, I might film another sit down video after this because I've quite enjoyed having this little chat. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll get into my goodie bag and my shopping. So as I said, when we arrived we had gifts waiting for us along with our itinerary and our programme. Um, I can't believe how generous the organisers were really, we had lots of little gifts. Um, but I'll show you something just quickly first of all. First thing I wanted to show you is this little pom-pom bee which was made by one of the ladies on our table. If you're curious about the bee theme also, the worker bee is the symbol of Manchester. Um, so the event was obviously bee themed which is why I have this little pom-pom bee. So waiting for me at my table I had this gorgeous little mason, I can't even talk, <laughs> this little mason jar with um, a decal of my name on it which is cool and everyone had one of these. There was a bee coaster, a little pouch full of sweets and washi and everything, and it says Chloe's Planner Survival Kit, MPB 2017, Planner Meats Last a Day, Memories Last a Lifetime. So there's chocolate, there's tea, there's sweets, there's a pencil and washi, <laughs> so cute. We have, of course, our lanyard. You can't go to a planner event without having a lanyard. This is a little box, again, filled with sweets, and it's a little beehive. And then this box I will show you up close. So this says, gifts for you from the Queen Bees, and when you open it up, there is a clip from Planner Face, or not Planner Face, Planner Head. There's another shop there called Planner Face. <laughs> uh, but this one's Planner Head, and it says the Planner Bee. There is a planner charm. What is wrong with my voice? I can't talk today. There was a planner charm from Cloudy Cow, who is, of course, Daisy. Um, it's a little bee with a piece of honeycomb. And then also, there's this little bee bracelet. Very cute. And this in here was part of their make and take workshop. We had to make our own tag, but I was feeling a bit, um, well, exhausted to be honest by that point so I decided to bring the supplies home with me and make it at home instead but yeah so these were the gifts that were waiting for us on the table when we came in and I cannot believe how generous the organizers were as I said so thank you so much ladies it really um I don't know it's the little details that really make an event I think and this was definitely very impressive so I'm going to move on to the goodie bag which is in this cute planner queen tote bag and it's full of goodies. So first of all I have a little bee badge and some washi samples. A little charm from tail to tail shop and I think this is for a TN so that will be fun to try and put on my traveller's notebook. Some bow embellishments from Mrs Brimbles. An erasable pen with bees on it. A little book of functional stickers from Chocho and Mimi, who I bought a ton of stuff from. You will see that later. We also got a little Halloween sampler in there, which is the pandas. Amanda the Planda, love it. And then the stickers are exactly what they say on the tin. Just loads of functional stickers. A little sampler from Busy Bee Stickers. A little sticker book from AJ6 Designs. It's Halloween themed again. I don't normally do anything for Halloween, but I feel like I'm going to have to because I've got lots of Halloween themed stickers from this event. A little, um, I think it's like ephemera or postcard pack from Cloudy Cow. 
a little double sampler from All Things Paper UK. Beautiful bee stickers from Michelle and Patch. A sampler from Being Bethany Rose. Love this one. Some Save the Bees seeds. You can plant the seeds to save the bees. Gorgeous sampler from Little Rainbow Moon. I just realised that some of these might not be in focus, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> this gorgeous pack from Josephine Bow. Josephine Bow? Yeah, I think so. It's gorgeous. This lovely sticker kit from Strawberry Lime Designs, who I've got lots of stickers from. A little sampler from Hazy Days UK. Some stickers from Dream Big and Plan. An A6 size order tracker from the Lizzo Papers. Super cute. A like mini sticker kit from Planner Face. See, told you there was a Planner Face. I wasn't going mad. A sticker kit from BB Planning Co. A big pack of loveliness from Crafty Alley. This cute sticker kit from the Hummingbird Planner. A sticker sheet from Partners in Crime Designs. Love the little slot. Hi guys, I'm just coming to you from the future. I seem to have lost a whole clip where I thanked all of the sponsors of the event for donating to the goodie bags and to the raffle prizes. They were really amazing and I just didn't want to not thank you in this video. So thank you. Now on to all of my shopping. So first of all, we have my giant Chocho and Mimi sticker haul. Let's get into it. First of all, Danny gave me this cute little sampler with Amanda the Planda on it. And then this is the first one I bought. It's the Amanda the Planda Happy Halloween collection, which was too cute to leave behind. I bought some that say, um, school starts, first at school, half term, last at school, summer holiday, that sort of thing, uh, because I work at a school, so I thought these would be cute just as a little alternative when there's something going on at work. I got some Amanda the Planda stickers with a laptop for when I have lectures at university because I've just started my masters. I picked up these pencils and pens again for marking work things. I got these which are from the big meet. Basically after the big meet Becky, this is Becky, she <laughs> She'd had a little bit to drink and she met these guys in the lobby of the hotel and had a hilarious conversation with them about planners and stationery and it was filmed, it's become infamous in the UK Planner Addicts group and Danny made it into stickers and I had to have them. I got some autumn themed stickers, little bee themed kit. Last but not least, from Danny, I got some vet appointment stickers. Then I stopped by All Things Paper UK and I picked up this Christmas personal kit along with these uh, YouTube themed stickers. So record, um, edit and upload, which I thought were brilliant. And finally, I got these stickers, which have got traveller's notebooks on them and they say planning time. From Little Rainbow Moon, I first of all picked up this super cute washi tape with little woodland creatures on, which I just couldn't leave behind. I got these ones, which should fit in my mini happy planner, and they are beach themed. I thought they'd be perfect for when I go to my parents' caravan. And same goes for these ones, I thought they'd be perfect for the caravan. I got these ones, which I just really like the colour of them got these uh, daily headers and then lastly I got these watercolour paper aeroplanes which I'm going to use for like little notes and memos. Last but not least I stopped off at Susie Stick It and I picked up one of these freckled fawn pouches. I thought they would be quite good for taking planner stuff on the go. Uh, for example when I go to Brussels at the end of the month for PlannerCon. I also picked up this Doodlebug Design pumpkin washi tape for autumn and Halloween and a daisy ollie clip because I can't resist an ollie clip. So there we have it. That is my roundup and my haul from Manchester Planner Bee. I'm sorry that my haul was all over the place. I wanted to film it on my desk, but I have a half finished craft project on my desk, which I don't want to move because it'll all just fall apart. So I had to just make do instead, but I hope you 
got the gist of everything that I've bought. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do consider going to Manchester Planner B if it's on next year, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.